Speaking at a news conference, members of the council agreed that it is time for the Ashitewe of Lengshi to nominate someone for the vacant position of chief of Teshi. According to the members, the Teshi Traditional Council could not finalize the installation rights for the chosen chief in 1999 because certain people from the Ashitewe refused to participate in the process. Nia Shong Akbo Ajay noted that there are only two people in the town who have refused to allow peace to prevail in Teshi. Name the two as Theo Kaoboche and Ama Jerry, who, he said, are not from any recognized royal family in Teshi. Ni Ashong Akpo Ajay further stressed that after 14 years of living without a substantive chief, the people have now called for one to be installed on their behalf and the traditional council will take all necessary steps to give and also get a new chief installed to bring development and peace to the area. This afternoon, to express ourselves to the media, because some people have gathered in the town, giving themselves posts of composed, that they are the traditional leaders, whereas they are not. And we, the leaders in the town, we have to come out with our view so that the media will understand this. So if there's anything, the media also can help so that Teshi will be peace and peace forever. It's Ni Kamoa the third. He's supposed to be chief of Teshi. Mm. Because of those people who are causing commotion in the town, they are taking us to courts here and there. That's why we have kept law. What I want the police to do is, uh, uh, Jerry instructed about 30 young, young men to my own room and told me that they will cut out me into pieces. They will burn my house, they will burn my car and everything. I reported it to the police. I wrote my statement to the police. Nothing has been done about it up till now. So I want the police to, I mean, wake up. They should not back one side. They should call both of us and see the, the, the truth inside this matter for us.